Mid-sized sedans aren't quite the hot sellers today as they have been historically, but it's important to remember that Americans still buy millions of the things every year. The all-new 2018 Honda Accord gives car shoppers a reason to forego looking at a compact SUV in favor of a more traditional sedan, even if there's not that much traditional about this Honda at all. How does it look? Exterior design here isn't quite so bold or polarizing as found on the Civic as you might expect. This is a car for a more mature customer, but the shape is far from vanilla. The Accord Sport model has a cleaner body side than the other more heavily chromed trim levels, which I appreciate. In profile view, not everybody is gonna love the sloping rear roof line that reminds me the tiniest bit of an Audi A7, but it wouldn't be a Honda if every angle were universally loved either. How's the storage? The 16.7 cubic feet of space in this trunk is huge, and it's more than Accord's top competitors, Camry, Ultima, and Fusion. As we've learned to expect from the latest crop of Honda products, interior storage is plentiful and smart. In particular, the space between the front seats is great. Basically a big, deep, configurable compartment, great for holding beverages, phones, cords, gloves, or whatever detritus you might travel with. Is it roomy? Some of the Accord's competitive set do measure out larger in terms of front seat space. But unless you're much, much bigger than me, it shouldn't be an issue. I have loads of room in the driver and passenger seat. Meanwhile, the Accord has way more room in the generous back row than ever before. Full-size adults and kids in car seats should fit back here with no problem. How does the interior feel? So even in this sport model, which loves to sing to you, uh, which doesn't have things like leather seats, it still feels really, really nice. Everything in my forward view from the leather wrapped steering wheel to the big eight inch display, uh, feels like it could come from an entry level luxury car, let alone a mainstream sedan. Is it well equipped? One step up from the base LX, the sport trim level has a nice balance of options and value. The biggest visual impact from the exterior are the 19 inch wheels, along with LED fog lights and a deck lid spoiler. Inside, you'll find 12 way adjustable power seats, an eight inch display, a 180 watt eight speaker stereo, push button start, heated seats, and dual zone auto climate control. The Honda Sensing suite of safety tech is also included, even on the LX, which means adaptive cruise, lane keep assist, emergency auto braking, and more. How's the infotainment system? The eight inch display audio screen is familiar from the new Odyssey and brings a better balance between new tech and classic controls than in previous Honda products. Traditionalists will be overjoyed to see physical knobs for both volume and channel selection. The screen is flanked by a few physical buttons for high use features as well. Of course, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are both supported, and in higher trim cars, wireless Qi charging and Bluetooth pairing via NFC technology can be had as well. Is it a good daily driver? Now, as you can see, Honda PR is smart and they've given us the Accord Sport with a manual transmission first. The good news here is that if you're at all interested in a manual transmission, this one isn't punishing to drive on a daily basis. Though the truth is the alternative is a really excellent 10 speed automatic transmission that also gets you a big boost in fuel economy. We're on a back road right now, but Honda has made this car extremely quiet at highway speeds, which is something that you're definitely gonna enjoy if you're a commuter. And though I don't usually talk about it in this part of the Why Buy videos, I actually think that the excellent work that Honda has done packaging this interior makes it a really good daily driver. Because it's so big, especially in the back seat, it can realistically be compared to small crossovers or SUVs, which is great. Is it fun to drive? <laughs> I'm a jackass. So as you can tell, probably from my laughing, yeah, this car is really fun to drive. In fact, James bleep this, it's fucking fun to drive. 
The two liter turbo version of the Sport is actually a detuned version of the same engine found in the blood curdling Honda Civic Type R. Now in this form, it's making 252 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque, which is more than enough to get the sedan moving with a quickness. Better yet, I've got a phenomenal six speed manual gearbox here. So when I really do want to get moving, I can just downshift and go. Now, well, higher spec versions of the Accord do have a multi-mode suspension, the Sport, strangely enough, is actually just set up on a one-mode steel spring suspension. The thing is, it's really pretty good. It does the ride handling balance very well, and unless you're really, really pushing hard, it doesn't feel out of sorts. How's the fuel economy? Unfortunately, at the time of recording this video, we don't actually know what the EPA estimated fuel economy for the two liter turbo version of the Honda Accord will be. However, we do know the car goes on sale November 18th and we're certain to have fuel economy by then. How much is it? Accord pricing starts at $23,570 for the LX with the smaller 1.5 liter turbo four. The Accord Sport 2.0T, meanwhile, with the manual gearbox that I've been enjoying on this tester, runs $30,310 before options. For reference, the new 2018 Toyota Camry, with competitive power by way of a V6 engine, starts around $34,000, and a V6 Nissan Altima is about $33,500. What are the negatives? Price creep across the industry means that you're spending $30,000 for the best driving version of the Accord. For people who have been out of the market for a little while, that's gonna mean some sticker shock. But beyond that, it's very difficult for me to ding this Honda as it is clearly the best thing in the segment today. Who should buy it? Unless you're getting a sweet deal from another brand or are a diehard Camry loyalist, you should definitely check out Accord. It's the pick of the mainstream sedan segment right now. What's more, if you think you're in the market for a small SUV but don't really need all-wheel drive, I would encourage you to drive this first.